Hey what's up guys, it's Asrif here from mypeople.com and today in this video let's talk about using our pen drive or USB thumb drive as RAM. So basically there are two types of memories in a computer. The first one is RAM and the other one is ROM. When comparing RAM and ROM side by side, RAM is way more powerful, faster and at the same time more costlier than ROM. So why do we use RAM? Let's say that you open up a program in your computer that requires about let's say 100 megabytes of storage to store temporary data and files. Now in this time the data is stored onto your RAM and not to your ROM. So if it was about to store to the ROM then would be, it, the process would be at least 15 times lower. So in this context the temporary data used up by this program is actually stored onto your RAM. Now consider a situation where you are running out of RAM and you are not able to run multiple programs simultaneously. Why this happens? Because we need extra RAM storage to store additional files required by the opened programs to work. In this situation, we can increase the RAM capacity of a computer by using a regular USB pen drive. We can use, use this pen drive to store all the temporary data required by any program and makes the process even more faster. So without wasting any more time, let's jump straight in and hold on. Before that, I want to make sure that the speed and resources provided by a internal RAM stick can never be matched up by a USB drive. So it literally means that even if you use your pen drive as a RAM, it won't be that powerful or speedful as a RAM. So without wasting more time, let's jump straight in. First of all, insert the pen drive which is at least 8 GB in size to any of your empty USB port and after that open this PC. Then navigate and find the particular pen drive and right click on it and click on format. Now enable quick format and click on start, press ok. Now wait until it get formatted. Once the formatting is done press on OK and after that press on cancel or close. Now we are done with formatting. I told, I told this because that all the files that is present inside the pen drive might become unusable or corrupt so that it is better to take a backup first. Now right click on the pen drive once again and after that click on properties. From here go to the second tab called ready boost. Tap on ready boost. And after that, wait while ReadyBoost information is being retrieved for this particular device. And now once if the device is compatible with the ReadyBoost, then you will get an option like this. From here, all you want to do is select a third option called use this device. After that, allocate a particular amount of memory that you want to use as a RAM. You can select any, any number of your capacity and after that press on OK and apply. Now this red bar indicates that the your specified amount of space in this particular pen drive is being used as a RAM in or the internal RAM. It's a virtual memory actually. So yeah, that's it. Now if you want to remove your pen drive and want to use it as a regular USB pen drive, that means if you want to get this thing out of ReadyBoost, all you want to do is right click on pen drive, then click on properties. After that go to ReadyBoost again and click on the first option called do not use this device. Then press apply and OK. Now you can see that the red bar has disappeared and there is nothing left in the pen drive. So your pen drive is now as normal and can be used to copy files and transfer in between computers. So that's it guys. So that's it guys. Hope you guys had an absolute great time watching this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel for similar updates and I will catch you in the next one.